Hi all, Lee Veris here. Today I'm relaunching my channel after an extended absence. Yep, I'm finally getting dragging myself out of the pandemic, ready to get back to work. I'm introducing a new series of videos I'm calling Photo Tech Tuesdays, where I'll bring you short videos exploring photography, technique, software, equipment, creativity, travel, and more, regularly scheduled for Tuesdays, hopefully every week, Okay, well, well, we'll see about that, but <laughs> that's my intention. Anyway, my first video here is about black point. That's the lowest tonal value in a digital image. Let's take a look at why this matters. I often get called upon to judge camera club contests, and many times I'm confronted with images that are interesting, well-composed shots that suffer from simple post-processing mistakes. One of the most common ones is a failure to set proper white point and black point to establish the widest range of tones. The images without proper black point and white point adjustments are dull and lifeless. It's not hard to find examples of dull images on the internet. And the examples I'm using all came from usplash, oh, excuse me, unsplash.com, which is a really great royalty-free stock image website. Uh, and, and really no disrespect intended for the original photographers here. The, the dull look is very common with lifestyle shots and can be considered a look. However, I think a lot of this dullness is not intentional, but due to an over-reliance on the monitor to decide on post-processing adjustments. Yeah, just wiggle the sliders until it looks good to you. Any success then is dependent on how your monitor is calibrated. I also believe that the newest HDR-capable monitors make mediocre Im images look better than they deserve because of the extremely wide brightness range of the backlit LCDs. The thing is, computers offer an extremely precise way of measuring tonal range by the numbers. You should learn to take advantage of that. Let's take a look. So here... Here we are, uh, and, and these are images that I just pulled off of uh, Unsplash, and they're all kind of these sort of lifestyle shots that are expressing uh, a kind of an emotion. In this case, I just set uh, hope as my you know, emotion to search for, and I found all these images. And each one of these suffers from this kind of dull image syndrome where there isn't a good black point and... In, in some cases, there isn't a good white point either. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this image. And if I just bring it into the develop module, and, um, we can kind of, I mean, right off the bat, you can kind of see that there really aren't any areas that are really black. If I move my cursor around and you look at the, uh, the histogram up there, you can kind of see these areas are supposed to be really dark. And uh, they're all in the, 20s, you know, just, you know, between 15 and 20 in all the channels. So that's not very dark. What we would be looking for would be something like zero, and that would be black. Now, um, you'll notice up here also in the histogram, you have these two little triangles in the corners here. If I click on those, I will get um, clipping warnings for the highlights and for the whites and the blacks. Okay, so this area is the blacks, and you can kind of see there's a gap here. Um, so this end of the histogram is not making it all the way. So we're giving up a range of tones by not stretching that histogram from edge to edge. Um, so, you know, pretty easy to fix. This, this image seems properly exposed at the moment. So let's just reduce the black. So I'm going to take the black slider and just slide it over. And... You know, you can you could bring the cursor into the image and start measuring, looking at numbers under the histogram. But you can see now that this little triangle has turned red. That means in the red channel somewhere in the image, there is clipping. Um, and we want to bring this black slider down until it turns white. Because that's when you actually have black clipping. And now you'll see these little blue highlight indicators there. Now this region, there's no detail in this region. There's no hope of bringing any detail in. So it's okay if I if I pull this down and really make this area really black. Now conversely, 
on the highlight side, especially since I've dragged the histogram over now, um, we're not really hitting the end and I don't see an indicator here for any clipping. Let's see what happens if we just move that white slider up. And I'll just keep going until I start to see, there's the red channel clipping and you kind of see over here, uh, we have some uh, clip to white indicators just showing up very small in the image, very small. Uh, and there's no detail in those areas, so I don't really care if it clips at all, right? And now we'll just turn those off to look at the image. And uh, if I click on this little eye here under the basic panel, because that's all I've used is this basic panel. If I click on the eye, I can see uh, the before and after. So if I click and hold, that's the before. And wow, very soft and cloudy. Uh, you know, some people would say, oh, it looks more romantic this way. Um, but the image definitely has more three-dimensional shape. It just seems like it's a, it's a solid three-dimensional image. Um, and all I did was move the black point and the white point. Let's take another, take a look at another image. Now, I see this kind of thing a lot. <laughs> this area back here, it's just, it should be black. There's no detail in it. It's not like a, you know, and, and even the dark shadows underneath here, none of them are approaching black. You know, it's just 13. Uh, it's all pretty much 13.3, and it's not even neutral, 13.3. Um, so again, let's, uh, I think, you know, our white point, we definitely have, if I move it, my cursor over, and I don't even have to click on it. Once I move the cursor, I can just check and say, yep, Yep, we got a definite white point in this image, but look where the black point, it's just outside of the blacks. So this peak here, which is all the pixels in the background, this little spike here is in the shadow values and not in the blacks, and it should be black. Again, really simple fix. We'll just lower this the black slider until that comes over, and now that, that should clip to black. It's all, there's no detail there. We can have that be black. And again, check check the image out. It just, now it has some snap. It looks, even in the image that we didn't adjust for, you have more, kind of more detail and more shape because we've got more contrast that extends throughout the whole image. Take a quick look at another one. You can imagine, same sort of thing. I'll just go ahead and turn on my clipping indicators here. We've got a white point. You can see that's clipped, and that's good. But let's bring that black point into the image. And I'm looking for, up. Oh, there we go, maybe too much. Just look for a little bit of speckles in that hair. Something like that. I don't even have to look at the numbers now, because if the numbers are going to be zero anywhere that there are blue highlights. Um, well, let's turn off those indicators and again we'll just click on the eye wow i mean this makes a huge improvement to this image and all all i did really was set the black point so <laughs> that's it for now if you enjoyed that please hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified when the next Phototech tuesday is released thanks a lot everybody See you later.